Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go through what is mean by harplegia and allodynia. So let's go through their definition and their example. So harplegia, it is usually um, referred to as any stimuli that, yeah, that usually cause pain. That let's say cause usual pain if you do it, even if you have it, don't have any injury now can result in even more severe pain. Now, when this kind of things occur, this state will occur usually when you are fine, when you're exposed to an injury, let's say an injury in your leg. Now, the stimuli that usually cause that pain, not the pain that causes the injury, but any other pain, if you even had a normal leg, can now result in even more pain upon getting that injury. So let's see some examples. So again, any practice that initially painful to learn or harder after the injury. Let's say you are um, trying to learn this doing splits for first time. Um, it's a pretty pretty painful um, exercise to do and to perform. And even let's say you were going to do it for first time, but you got an injury, right? Let's say you, you had um, your hamstring or whatever you pulled on your hamstring or whatever injury you had that now m made you to made you harder to do the speak because you got that injury. So that's um, referred to as hyperallergia. Now let's let's see what is mean by allodynia. So allodynia is really really any previous harm system like can now cause pain. This is very important. So main distinguishing feature of this two are that this that the stimuli used to cause a pain to begin the period to an injury. Okay? But in the allodynia you didn't um, there that the stimuli that you're going to learn or you're going to expose to didn't harm you in any case but now can cause you pain because of the injury for example you have so let's see some good examples of it the pretty good decent example is taking a shower when you are sunburned so when you are taking a shower um, when you are sunburned you usually would find the hot water can cause you pain more rapidly this is this is not really the case when you didn't have the um, sunburn a uh, skin but once once you have it, the harmless stimuli, which is hot water, can even cause you more pain. So that's why it is caused. That's why it's called the previous harmless stimuli. So now let's see. Let's put it in a schematic diagram to see how it goes. So this is our normal res pain response to our body. Excited about stimulus intensity and why is a pain intensity? Upon getting an injury, right? So you had the hyperplegia. So you can see that it's still the even in the lower stimulus intensity, you have your exposed, you are getting exposed to higher pain stimuli. And if you recall, the hyperplegia is when the pain in when the pain intensity is high, and you had the you had a really fair amount of stimulus intensity. So the intensity is still fairly high, but allodynia, the stimulus is very low. Okay, it's like um, it's really like a taking a hot water, right? It doesn't necessarily put you in any pain whatsoever if you don't have any problem. Okay. Again, in our normal normal pain response, it's no, it's, it's literally zero. Similarly, there is no still there is no intensity in hot water, right? But once you're getting the in in injured state, that the pain uh, pain intensity would sky up, and usually at the lower intensity, even in a very low intensity, that you don't you, you didn't you don't you want um, feel the pain. In normal case, you would feel the pain during hyperplasia. So 